the regulation of the salt levels within the blood when they increase above the normal limit. When there's a higher amount of salt within the blood, receptor cells within the kidney pick this up and they will cause the adrenal gland to inhibit its secretion, basically secrete less aldosterone or no aldosterone, which will go to the kidney. We know that at the microscopic level of the kidney, at the nephron, we had filtration where from the blood, small substances such as salt would have gone into the filtrate of the tubules and it will move along with this fluid through the tubules. When there is less aldosterone available in the blood, what happens is less reabsorption of salt takes place. So little salt comes back into the blood and more salt would therefore go through the tubules and eventually go out with urine and be excreted. As a result, more salt is excreted, less salt is reabsorbed into the blood. The blood salt level would therefore decrease and come back to normal. So to summarize this process, from a normal blood salt level, the level was increased, probably due to the intake of excessive salt within the diet. The adrenal gland would be the control center, which will stop secreting aldosterone or secrete less aldosterone. The lack of aldosterone at the renal tubules of the kidney causes reabsorption of the sodium ions to decrease, less salt being taken back and more salt being excreted results in the salt levels coming down and back to the normal level.